Hey, this is DM Allen. Thanks for joining us once again for another week of awesomeness. Uh, let's just get it started. Last time on Roll with Advantage. Everybody else went to go give dragon parts to the giants. They say, if we're going to take out Orc Team 6, we're going to need Tin and Kyo. If Diabolus, if they were to die, would their mind control wear off and Orc Team 6 would be fine again? Yeah. And you just cleave it right in half as it's uh, dipping down into the water, trying to escape Alex Max style, and just it falls apart. Yes, parts of the sea. Uh, uh, they all seem dead. And Kinian kills four out of five. Yes, <laughs> nice. Um, just the kill blow. So. Uh, you can't possibly take damage right now, then, Kyo, so, so it's gone, gone? I really cool, like, summon summon the glass staff back to myself <laughs> <laughs> with Mage Hand, because I am glass staff. Yep. And then I, I summon my mount to me. <laughs> Your mount? My broom. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get up on the broom, float, a good like four feet off the ground now. Okay. Or <laughs> off the water level, and then I press to digitize, press to digitize myself dry. All right. And at that point, it should be banished for good. Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, you all uh, have a quick respite. Um, if you guys want to do anything, uh, there is a corridor leading out of this room. Um, otherwise, uh, there is a corridor backtracking. Uh, where you came from. Uh, Sarissa is not here, and neither are the fire giants. Do I hear the dragons still? A uh, perception check for me, please. I think I'm going to have to use some of these potions. You're pretty deep in the dungeon currently. Oh, balls. Or in the castle. I drink one of my uh, healing potions. 13. Okay. Only and 13 I got almost perception. max healing out of it. Nice. 13 perception. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you hear you hear fighting, but it's distant. Um, it it sounds uh, it sounds like a dragon uh, like beating its wings and stuff like that. Uh, uh, you hear some minor quiet roars uh, and you hear uh, a uh, like a shout from a, a uh, giant. I would like to head that direction. Okay. Let's go that way. Um, I just randomly reach into my bag for a bottle. Oh yeah. <laughs> if, if this is less than a hundred, it's going to be one of the hundred bottles. Okay. But I have a hundred and twelve bottles on me, so I'm rolling a percentage plus a d12. Okay. <laughs> And interesting. 96 plus 11. Uh, yeah, that's above 100. Yeah. So what are you doing then? I grab out my flask of cobalt shine. Nice. I'm okay. Like, oh, this works. Yeah. <laughs> All right. After the quick, uh, the brief healing, uh, uh, Kinian charges down the corridor, leaving, leading outward. Um, you guys eventually follow the sounds of battle, and when uh, when you start to get near, you hear a <laughs> shot go off. You see a red flash in front of you, uh, Minette. Um, uh, the corridor kind of like dog legs, so you don't see what happened, but uh, it's a flash playing off the walls, um, and you hear like the roar of the dragon. <laughs> Okay. Does anybody want to do anything before entering the room? I'm going to use my prayer beads to cast Bless. Ooh. Okay. Um, how, three people, I think? Yeah. So I guess I Kenyon, Bon, and Manette. <laughs> what, what does it do? Um, D4 to your attack rolls. Yeah. For, and saving throws. Yeah. 
easier to hit. Um, as we were running along, I littered basically six bottles of healing potions. <laughs> oh, shit. And How are you doing? What's your health at? Full now. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I left like six empties behind me, <laughs> and uh, now there's been three bottles of alcohol drank in this session so far. <laughs> I'm going to double a haste on Bon and Kinian. Okay. Is At what point did that happen? Like right at the doorway? What, at the red flash. Okay. Okay. Um, As we go into initiative. Yes. Immediately yes. before we go into initiative. Okay. So your movement's Haste like pops. 120 right now? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Or if I run. <laughs> <laughs> so, initiatives, please. 22. 13. 15. Huh. I got 14. <laughs> uh, Minette? 14. 14, and you're going first? Yep. Okay. You, is, uh, you turn the corner and... Um, uh, what you see is a red dragon who uh, looks like it's taken a shot um, of something. and uh, Absinthe? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and uh, two fire giants uh, dead on the ground. Um, uh, one's missing its head, and the other one is bleeding from its missing arm. Oh. That and arms. <laughs> arms. Arms, plural. Nice. Um, and there are two discarded, um, not thunder cannons next to them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, they are sized for giants. That's, <laughs> that's okay. I can brace my back against the front of the trigger guard. I was going to say, you're probably <laughs> like... Boom! <laughs> anyways, anyways, uh, Tin, it is your turn. You see a dragon that is uh, flapping in the air and is like breathing heavy. Um... Uh, it has noticed you guys, um, uh, but hasn't had a chance to uh, take advantage of that. So its head whips around as you turn the corner into this room, and it uh, squints its eyes towards you, and it says, You! You! Hey. <laughs> you! Um, since he's in the air, not on the ground, I'm going to do Guiding Bolt. Okay. And that is a 27 to hit. Yep, that I'm hits. assuming hits. Cool. Uh, doing level 1, so 46. 18 Radiant. And next attack roll on it has advantage. Nice. Um, Let's see. It is now its turn. It flies over towards all of you and breathes a uh, gout of flame. It's going to... It's a 60-foot cone. It's going to hit everybody. That's pretty friggin' big. Um, exhales fire. Everybody make a deck saving throw, please. 13. Fail. 16. Fail. 19 fail fail 19 fails 19 fails yep he probably upgraded this dragon Dang. Nope. this is standard dragon rules 27 that makes it that's right all right so we got one person that succeeded i need my old ring back all right uh everybody that failed takes 55 points of fire damage is anybody unconscious? Keo's Keo? Keo, you're down? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, no. You're resistant. Oh, yeah, I'm resistant. You are resistant. You only uh, took 27. Thank goodness. Yeah, because I was at, I was at <laughs> negative <Okay>. eight. No. <laughs> uh, so it is now uh, Kenny in your turn. Uh, it's still flying. I uh, I call out to him to polymorph back to Dragonborn or lose your wing forever, and I fly up with my hands on my cloak, hasted. So I close the gap. Rage Dragon Slayer pops out, and I swing twice at his swing, right at the joint at his left wing. Okay, okay, because you're hasted. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 
Sounds good. Basically landing on his back, essentially, and then swing, swing, swing. 22. Oh, it's a 19 on the die. Close. Two hits. Eh, three hits. Are we still blessed? Should be. Oh, yeah, I forgot to... Um, That's when you take damage... Poopy. You... Uh, half of the damage. Constitution so save. So you took 55. You got to roll a Is it half save the damage? of... Half Six. the damage. All right, so you're still hasted. Because my con save oh, was... Oh, I need to roll a 27? Uh, 23. Yeah. <laughs> Lol, no, that's oh, physically not... impossible for me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're no longer blessed? Um, we're no longer yeah. blessed. 117 damage to his left wing. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> what the Jesus fuck? Christ, dude. Three, three hits with a dragon slayer sword or axe. Yeah. 117? Poopy. I rolled a 2, a 3, and a, like a 5 on the d12s. <laughs> <laughs> but then I gotta add 96 because the three swings. Jesus Christ. Eight. So that was basically my warning to him to change back or lose his wing forever. He probably wants to land. Uh, I think it loses its wing. And it is incapable of flying now. Um, it falls. It only makes up one attack, wing attack. attack. How far? Attack. How far? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to fall. Uh, Kinian, you're falling yep. with it. Be Dexy. Um, uh, yeah, you can try and Dex. So he uses his dexterity to grab the wing. 15. And glide down slowly with it. Uh, 15 is... I'm probably still here. Uh, yeah, you, you take, uh, four points of falling damage. Halved. Because <laughs> falling damage is bludgeoning damage. Yeah. It is. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, it is now Minette's turn. I'm going to shoot him. Okay. 19 on the die. Hits. Yeah. So close to that crit. Uh, 33. Yeah, 33 points of damage. Okay. Um, it is now Keo's turn. And so, I do not, I, the glass staff begins to glow, and, um, I, I cast a shadow of a dragon behind me. Okay. And, and um, I say in my most commanding little boy voice, Dragon, we have fought before, and we won. If we fight again, you'll die. We are not your greatest enemy here. Work with us to fight the Kraken. And so mm. it's a persuasion attempt. Okay. And, you know, there was that force before. I don't know. Does that give me help? But since it's with a dragon, I get double proficiency. Uh, cocked. The cocked one was better. So that's... um. Choo -choo. 12 plus 14. A 14? 14. Um, I rolled a 2. And I, I added 12. You will... You Good. will have to wait to see how it reacts. Mm -hmm. You got this, guys. Uh, currently, it its posture is one of beaten, but that doesn't that doesn't tell you anything outside of that. My hand edges towards my um, wand of magic missiles, just in case. <laughs> Which is on my, like, which, like which is on, it's like pistol. on my hip, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's see, it's a wand with a bent handle. <laughs> um, it is now Bon, your turn. Uh, if I hold my action, do I just hold like one attack? Yes, you you hold one action. Okay, I hold my one action. Okay, don't you have to Until declare for what? option two? Yeah. Until the dragon makes a threatening move, so attacks any of my allies. Okay. So you're getting next to it. So you, that you yeah, can land you, the action, because yeah. you don't get a move and do yeah. an action. Yeah. Well, I assumed it was near us, because it fell. I mean, it, it's near you, but it's not next to you. All right. I move up to it and hold my action. Okay. Look menacing. All right. I'm like, oh, we're, we're trying to convince it to... Okay. Yep. I'll wait. 10. It comes up. 
Um, I am... So, item interaction, I can use a potion, right? It's not like just take it out and then I have to... It, but that's your whole action. Yeah. Oh, that's my... Drink item a potion would be your action. My action. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will do that then, even though I want to do more. Uh, and then I Ooh, will kind of... Smash the bottle on the ground menacingly. <laughs> I will. <laughs> fuck you. Cut I'll you. I'll kind of like break away from most of the party so that I'm spread out a bit more. Okay. So that's my turn. Wow. Good potion. All right. So uh, the red dragon is going to. Um, it is going to uh, concede. Uh, it. Uh, shifts back into or it shifts to dragonborn form um, and uh, uh, it is it's like kneeled on the ground and it says free me and I can bring Klauth to your aid Klauth to our aid yes the great and powerful Klauth my father he can come to your aid. That's what dragon fathers like to do. I want to incite this. Yep. D- does has Kenyan yeah, heard Clouth before? Oh yeah, yeah. Clouth. Uh, 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 let's see. Uh, Epido. Epido talked about Clouth um, when you guys were moving through his airspace. Uh, that's when you regained the ship. Uh, uh, that's where Shackle. Uh, died the first time over is over the uh, Clouthian Vale. And I think he's going to help the giants. What's that? I think he's going to help the giants. No. Essentially. Um, uh, what's your insight? 14. 14. Um, he might come to your aid. It's kind of hard to read uh, this person, um, but you think that this dragon might owe you a boon. He might not technically aid us with the giants, but he might aid us in fighting the Kraken. Right. Well, it might just stop Giant Dragon War 2 from happening. I apologize to him for the the wing. I tried to warn you. I didn't mean to cut it off that moment. (laughs) Uh, It it looks at the, the wing on the ground... And uh, um, a tear uh, uh, kind of forms in his eye. I say, it's okay, it's okay. And I take out two copper pieces and put them on the wing. (laughs) (laughs) I survey the room, though, like when he's talking. Do I see Sarissa? Uh, No. And how many giants were dead in here? Two. The Uh, fire giants? Yeah. I, uh, I look at the party... And I pull out the conch. I take him and I tell him I disappear with the dragon. Okay. Oh. Okay. Do you just drop him off at the ship and then come back? Yeah. Okay. So when you come back, uh, you come back in the in the greeting room, and in the greeting room, um, uh, there is Sarissa with another storm giant, uh, and they are shouting at each other. Uh, the one storm giant has a hood on and um, uh, has like crackling energy from the fingertips, from its fingertips. Telepathically through the ring, I'm like, guys, I'm back. Circe is at the entrance. You hear, this is Kyo. Uh, please leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if I move at uh, 240 feet per round, how long will it take? Uh, you're gonna, you're probably gonna be, I'm gonna make this easy and say you guys are three rounds, or two rounds out. Okay. Like, hey, Sarissa. So, like, one for Bon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kenny and <laughs> slicks his hair back. <laughs> <laughs> the ears perk up on his Craig cat. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's, that's bagged right now, because it's wet. Well. There are times that Tanuviel is a little sad she's the only female in the party. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes there's there's no one to share looks with. <laughs> that, that, Keo can share looks because Keo can be a girl too. <laughs> he can. He's he's morphic. Yeah, um, uh, that's uh, one of the cobalt traits. They can balance it out. Actually, 
Kyo might be a girl now. I just walk right up to Sarissa, yep. and I put my arm like on her ankle. <laughs> <laughs> like my hand on her ankle. I'm... That would just sound so weird if not for the context of her being a giant. How how tall are storm giants? They big boys. Real tall. They're like They're twenty four almost... feet, twenty five feet, something yeah. like that. They can. Un- I think they can approach thirty. All right. So um, uh, let's roll initiative real quick. Initiative. Initiative. Oh man. I, I'm not murdering Sarissa, am I? <laughs> you probably go ahead of me, though, because mine's a 23. Mine's a 23. Ooh, we get to decide who goes first. Hey, you can go um, first. Well, you can go first because you're pasted. Yeah, but it's like, yeah. Yeah. I'll get there first anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. <laughs> All right, then I'll go first. Okay. All right, Uh, so Tin got a 13. Minette, what'd you get? Uh, six. Six! Nailed it. Yep. Uh, Kinian, you got a 15? <laughs> right? Or no? No, eight. Teresa is at a... Am I still hasted? Yeah. How many more rounds, do you think? Well, I'd say no more than two rounds for you dropping the dragon off. Assuming you didn't chit-chat. You're just like five, <laughs> probably. Drop off and then five, five left. reasonable. All right, so... Um, uh, Kinian, what you see is... Uh, you see Sarissa say, Cory, it's it's me. It's your queen. Stop this madness. And Kinian, you want to react, do you? So you see what you see is a purple storm giant in front of you. And um, uh, its eyes are glowing with this orange glow. Um, it is like shocking. Uh, it's got this electrical charge moving through its hands and around it um uh and it's moving menacing menacing menacingly towards sarissa is it at my actual turn yes it is um i look up at sarissa and i'm like uh do you want me to subdue or do you want to flee don't don't hurt her i think i can get through to her okay and uh I bamf into a bat and fly up above. Okay. All right. Um, uh, the hooded figure uh, that Sarissa called Corey uh, uh, moves towards Sarissa, and uh, during this time, Sarissa's like trying to talk her down, and Corey just uh, just all out wails her, just. Sarissa takes this uh, this hit right right smack dab in the gob, and uh, uh, her nose starts bleeding profusely. Uh, bon, you come down the stairs as uh, as you see Sarissa um, uh, starting to take out her her warhammer from her back. Uh, you are at a distance, uh, but you could do something that is. Uh, like something distance wise. You can't get right up next to her. My um, my max is thirty. Your max is thirty feet? Yep. That's fine. You can you can do you can do things at a distance. Just uh you can't you can't strike okay. like, with, with melee. I say Hey and hit her with a fist of unbroken air. Okay. It's a strength save. She probably makes it because she's a Jack giant. Jack. Uh, that is going to be a strength saving throw. Yep. Yeah, that's a 20. Yep, makes it. Still takes... Pretty good. 20 damage halved, so 10 force damage. 20 halved, so 10 oh, force wait. damage? 34 halved. Why 34? Uh, radiant. Okay. Okay. So 34 halved is 15 plus 2, 17. All right. Um, it is now Sarissa's turn. She pulls back and um, uh, strikes out at Corey uh, and is going to hit. 
All right, and she she lands a solid blow on Corey uh, right in the chest. Kinian, you are able to do things now. <clears throat> I materialize right on Corey's shoulder, and my axe pops out, and I say to Sarissa, are we hurting her now? Hell yeah, we're hurting her. My hair catches a blaze. Okay. And I'm striking non-lethal. I'm guessing a 16 misses. Or does it hit? It's uh, a caster type. Storm giant? Yeah. Oh, 16 hits. Okay. Two hits. Oh, both ones on the damage die. Uh, it's 48 damage total. Okay. Now I'm on her shoulder. Oh, I got one more attack. Because haste action. That's better. Ugh. Uh, 25 points of damage. Okay. Corey. So, Kinium, what you see from her is after you attack her, uh, she turns her head towards you. Uh, on her shoulder, and she blows hard, just I need you to make a uh, strength saving throw, please. She blows. 25. Whoa! (laughs) Uh, 25 is gonna be just fine. My hair is looking all Fabio. It's super fucking tasseled (laughs) right now. So, uh, Corey uses her legendary action to try to blow you away, Kinian, and when that doesn't happen, uh, she like whips her hand outward and a crackle of lightning uh, sprays from her hand uh, into a lightning sword and she stabs at you. Uh, That's going to be a 28 to hit. She stabs at you and and hits you with the lightning sword. You take... Ouch. But he's wearing metal armor. Shouldn't shield him? (laughs) Faraday cage, right? (laughs) Yeah. Um, so ben, Ben, pure, same team. It's pure <laughs> lightning damage, correct? Uh, yeah, it's pure lightning I damage. Take it all. You take forty-two points of damage as uh, as the lightning burns in, uh, into you. She uh, she laughs maniacally and uh, and does it again. Uh, that is going to be a twenty to hit. That'll do. 34 points of damage right into your uh, right into your chest <laughs> and uh, it is Keo's turn Keo you can see from a distance um, uh, so you can you are within spell casting range Not no melee much, range doesn't do me much good yeah you have no movement left basically hmm I use my action to keep moving. <laughs> okay, you can double move. Yeah, because that's about all I'm going to be able to do. Okay. Uh, Bon, your turn. Where where are you moving towards? Are you so just trying here's to... my plan. Okay. I'm, I'm flying in, and I'm going to use... When I get within 30 feet, I'm going to quicken, uh, quicken a mage hand okay. to shoot out some of my... 330 feet of hemp rope and then I'm going to fly around her legs. <laughs> okay. So that's what your next that, your next move's going to be. Okay. That's Kyo's plan. All right. Plan. So, uh she she saw uh she sees Bon uh and with her legendary action, she reaches back with the same hand that has the sword and she throws the sword as a lightning bolt at Bon. Uh Bon make a deck saving throw. I'm really glad haste gives you advantage on deck saves. What do you got? Uh, 25. Okay. Um, you take... You have resistance yeah. against the damage, too. Uh, 19 points of damage halved. Um, so, so quartered. Not, so, so, 19 made halved. Yep, which is... Uh, so, with evasion... Nine um, survive, and then zero damage. Oh yeah, and then evasion. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna smack her a few times. Okay. In theory. 
Uh, you do also see pseudopods starting to come up from the from the water. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, 20, 22, and 13. That is to hit. It's it, They all hit. Even the 13? Yeah. Oh. Giants, guys. Giants. Uh, can save. <laughs> let's, let's resolve this first real quick. 14. That's not going to do it. Okay. So she's stunned. Uh, okay. Yes? Yes. Yep, that we're gives good. everybody okay. advantage. Yep. Okay, in that case, because she was stunned on the first strike, yeah. I only do one strike. Okay. And I 41 points of damage, and then I'm going to start tying her up with my haste action. Okay. Tying her up still takes a lot of a lot of work. Um uh so I mean you're working at it, but she is not restrained yeah. from your from your rope yet. I wouldn't think so, yeah. but as she is stunned for until the end of my round, I'm also going to shout like, "Hey, tie her up. Tie her up, Sarissa. Tie her up." Okay. It is now uh, Sarissa's turn. Uh, Sarissa moves over uh, as well, and she starts helping with the rope um, uh, to restrain. Um, Corey is now restrained. Um, Tin, uh, you are able to act from a distance. Um. Uh, you have no movement left unless you double move. I'm not going to attack if we're trying to tie up. Okay. All right. Do you do any buffs to anyone, or are you just uh, are you holding an action? I will hold my action and attack if the storm giant gets up. Okay, just like a cantrip, sacred flame, or something like that. Um, because if you don't if you don't use the spell, it gets spent. Yeah, cantrip then. Okay. Um, uh, Kinian, your turn. From its shoulder I see the pseudopods yeah and uh, I'm like guys there's elementals coming and uh, I say go to sleep go to sleep go to sleep and basically rain down three hits on Cory because he's stunned I got a crit in there on the third swing okay so I will resolve the first two swings both Ghetto crits. So the first two swings, 35 and 35. 70? Yep. How's she looking? Fine. <laughs> um, and then my, fine. fine. Then my third. <laughs> <laughs> then my third swing, I am going to use Orcish Fury to add another damage die to my swing, which doubles it. So that's 7 d12s. Holy fuck! Jesus oh, Christ! Because he gets the extra one for barbarian, plus the yeah. extra one for half orc. Plus the Did you crit or something? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Crit. Oh, okay. So many extra dice. How do, you, how do you end up with an odd number of dice when you double them? Because um, half orcs get to add an extra die of the damage. Okay, die. so just you double crits. and then add. Yeah, it's just one extra die. Okay. Fifty-eight damage on the third swing. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> yay, Manette. Uh, you enter the room and you see the pseudopods and you see this uh restrained uh giant that everyone's attacking with a fervor. So, yeah, when she threw her sword, yep, is it laying somewhere? Nope. No, no, it's just lightning. Okay, I guess I'd shoot the closest pseudopod. To the group. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 hits. 38 points of damage. Nice. She is incapacitated and cannot do anything. Um, it is now the water elementals. Uh, three water elementals come out of the water. One looks uh, to be having a harder time than the others holding its form. Um, uh, the water elementals move uh, across the room and uh, start attacking at uh, at the party on the stairs. 
uh, which I think would be uh, Tin and Manette. I think that's it. Are they within 30 feet of me or no? No, you're still on the giant, right? Yeah, no. Because uh, the giant hasn't toppled. Okay. Um, Jeez. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm DM Allen. Thank you so much for joining us once again. This is Roll with Advantage, Season 2, Episode 44. Hey, thank you big time to Grand Con. That was an absolutely fantastic convention. We got to play a whole ton of board games and got to game with a bunch of fun people playing D&D and other RPGs. It was really great. We highly suggest it for next year. Now, if you enjoy the show and haven't already, go ahead and follow us on Twitter at DM's Table or on Facebook at The DM's Table. All right, now we're going to throw it over to Adam with this week's sponsor. Thanks, Alan. Today, I want to talk to you guys about Audible.com. Audible is Amazon's audiobook platform, and it offers hundreds of thousands of audiobooks for your listening pleasure. I'm going to recommend that you check out Sufficiently Advanced Magic by Andrew Rowe, and narrated by one of my favorite narrators, Nick Podell. It follows the story of The Tower, which is a magical dungeon setting jam-packed with traps and monsters. It has a unique runic magic system that the characters discover more and more about as they grow in power. If you are a fan of D&D but are looking for something with a slightly different flavor, check out Sufficiently Advanced Magic today. And if you want to listen to it for free, then let me tell you about the sweet deal Audible has for you. If you go to audibletrial.com slash rwa, you'll get a free audiobook as well as one month free subscription to Audible. I highly suggest it. I listen to Audible all the time, driving or doing chores or just any other time where I feel like a little bit of fantasy in my life. All right, go check that out. Now, let's talk about Incompetech.com. Incompetech.com is a phenomenal website. We've talked about it week after week. If you haven't gone and checked it out, go and check it out now. Incompetech does scores that nobody else has out there and you can hear these scores pretty much anywhere because most of the stuff is free it is fantastic for just prepping an adventure or getting your players in the mindset listening to it while you play or using it post-production like we do and here's one of the scores that we absolutely love from them Right, that's all I have for this week. Let's get right back to the episode. See you out on the internet, guys. Bye. Uh, it is uh, attacking now. Tin first. What is first? Uh, disadvantage? Okay. Uh, yeah, one in a 20. Uh, so first hit misses. Uh, that's a jack die. Uh, second hit is at a 14. Misses. Misses. Minette. Jack die. Come on. Uh, that is a 9 plus 7. So 16. Motherfucker. I need that better armor. Uh, yes, and then, that hits. And then and you the, are not two. at disadvantage. Yeah, 2 on the next one. So that's not going to hit. Uh, you take 6 plus 4. So 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, And then... Uh, uh, the third one is going to try and overwhelm you, Manette. So uh, give. Blair. He's moving uh, into my space. Oh, and... Yeah. Never mind. Okay. So it's a strength save. Nice. Twenty-four. Twenty-four does it. Uh, you take uh, seven, eleven points of bludgeoning halved. So five. Sorry. Five points of bludgeoning. Um. And it is now Kyo, your turn. All right, so Kyo sees she's already tied up. Yep. And he sees the um, water elementals coming in. And so he flies in, and instead of tying her up more, he pops up a, uh, I pop up a wall of fire. Okay. Facing outward 
away from us to keep the water elementals from oh, getting okay. into the. Uh, How tall is a wall of fire? Oh, it's a so it's a, so I can make it a box. It's a. I guess I'm I'm gonna it's a sixty foot <laughs> wall I can make. So or a um, ringed wall twenty foot diameter. So where are you placing high. this? Around the. Because they're currently the the water elementals are around Minette and Tin. So you're the, you're surrounded. The giant appears dealt with as I come into the room, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you're creating a a way to keep them in with Tin and Minette. No, I was I was trying to keep them away from them, like from the rest of the group. Oh, yeah, okay. From the rest okay. of the group. So, so you, you guys are on your own. The two giants, Kinian and Bon. Yeah, just okay. I got you. All right. And it's 60 cool. feet tall. Bon. I lose a turn. Why do you lose a turn? Haste he drop. Oh, gotcha. I okay. Go. So at the end of my turn, she's no longer stunned. Okay, so at the end of your turn, uh, she starts to swirl. Uh, her form swirls. Oh. And uh, and the pool that's that's in this room also starts to swirl. And uh, uh, her form turns into water and moves into the pool of water. Um, Do uh, I get my... No, okay. Nope. Uh, So she turns into this vortex and gets sucked through the water, uh, uh, turning into this whirlpool. And the whirlpool um, uh, moves down, like creating this suction force down in through the... Uh, place that you guys have traveled before uh, down to where the crabs are. You remember where the crabs are and all that stuff? Uh, there's a whirlpool forming down there. Do we have any, any of us get sucked along with her? Like I was on her shoulder. Am I sucked down the hole? Nope. You did drop though. Um, you take four points of bludgeoning damage as you fall 30 feet. So you drop, and the rope drops around you, and uh, Sarissa says, No! No, this isn't what I wanted! Uh, Sarissa's actually going to move over to where the wall of fire is, and she says, uh, she says, Keo, drop your spell. We need to disperse these elementals. Okay. Um, and you, uh, and she holds her action until your well, spell disperses. It- you gotta wait till your turn. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Uh, Tin, your turn. There um, are three water elementals around you guys. I'm gonna swing at one of them with Lightbringer. Woof, woof, woof. Bring in the light. Twenty to hit. Whoosh. Yeah, you hit it. Eight points of radiant damage, and then okay. seven points of bludgeoning. All right, you damaged the one that was having a hard time holding its form together. Um, and Kinian, what do you do? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, Minette? Uh, I guess I'll shoot the one that's getting hurt. Yep. 20 to hit. Hits. 38 points of damage. All right. It looks rough. Um... Water elementals bring in the bring in the pain here. Ladies first. Uh yep. Um that's gonna be not a hit. Thirteen. And uh that is a fifteen. Doesn't hit. Okay. Uh it's gonna go after uh the other one's gonna go after Manette. And that is a eighteen. It's and a oh wait, it doesn't get anything on the jacked up. Uh, and that's gonna hit as well. Uh, Manette, you take uh, twelve, and uh, you take ooh, seventeen. And then there's one more. One more is going to attack ten. Uh, that is a. Uh, not gonna hit. 13. <clears throat> that cloak of displacement was doing you good. 17. Does that hit? Nope. Damn, it, it did you really well. <laughs> uh, and that is the water elementals. Kyo, your turn. At this point, Kyo does what he should have done in the first place. And he pulls out 
his um little his little pot of ink yep. that he uses for when he writes stuff, and three droplets fly out, hitting the um three water elementals after dropping concentration. We'll cast yeah. in a new one with oh we'll okay. Drop it. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. So. And then I that's casting banishment at sixth level, which can target three creatures. Oh okay. And so um, each of the three water elementals has the ink, which is something they would hate because it would make them like dirty. Yeah. Flies to them, and they each have to make a DC 17 charisma save. Okay. Or be banished back to the plane of water. So uh, meets or exceeds, right? So we've got a 17, what kind a of four, four, and a 18. These are very, very rolled, charismatic. He rolled 18 and 19 on two of the dice. So. Yep, negative one. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking <laughs> elementals usually this works great against. Yeah, them. so you see, you see one just like <gasps> and disappear. It was one that was undamaged though, right? Yeah. Uh, and after you do that, Sarissa uh, finishes her action, swinging her uh, her warhammer just uh, through these these water elementals. <laughs> yep, that's gonna hit, and she does probably a lot of damage with that sucker. All right, she kills one of the water elementals, and the other water elemental is uh, strucken. Um, strucken. Strucken. Stricken. Stricken. Uh, and that is, uh, it, it like, disperses the water, but the water then reforms. Um, next is Bon, your turn. I'm going to run up to a, oh, don't need three in here anymore. I'm going to run up to a water ele- elemental. Okay. Elemental P. And I swing twice. 26 Someone and a 22. punch him right in the face for me. <laughs> what was that? 26 and a 22. <laughs> Uh, for damage? To hit. To hit hits. Yeah. Uh, 24. Okay. And 14, 15, 20, 27 for the second. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Sarissa is attacking again. Ooh, critical. Uh, and she just, she swings down the hammer and splats it, just dissipating the entire uh, the entire elemental. Uh, it has died. She's a badass. She is a badass with good for you, Kenny. a real <laughs> badass hammer. Hey. And like a, a strand of hair is hanging in front of her face and she looks up at you all and she says, Corey is the whirlpool in Maelstrom. She's going to be one storm giant that's going to be very hard to reckon with. Uh, and uh, after she says that, a uh, a bolt of lightning shoots out from the whirlpool. Keo, the lightning bolt comes at you. Um, you need to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Okay. Come on, roll another 20. 15. 15. Um, you take uh, 28 points of uh, lightning damage. Ouch. Let me add these up. Um, and it is Tin's turn. And depending on the maths. So it just came out of the vortex, but Corey did not come out of the cortex? The vortex, yeah. Or the, the vortex. Yep. There's just one water elemental left, so I'll swing at it. Let me see. No, 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 no. It's gone. It's gone. He he only, uh, unless it comes back. Oh. Does it come back, Ben? Um, let's see. Ben, is there concentration. Anything Not sure yet. Yeah. Oh, crap. Anybody have inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. Yeah, it sounds like yes. you got a target. Yes, a water elemental pops back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Animus. All right. Unless the seven hits, which I really doubt. No. Uh, Kinian, a water elemental has popped back. There's also a swirling vortex that seems to be attacking your party members. Kinian, with basically like blood running down, uh, like the left side of his face, like out of like my eye socket, essentially. Uh, I s- drop to a knee and uh, hold my axe out in front of me and draw on the power of my ancestors. Okay. 
eight berserkers appear, and without even getting up from in my knee, I point to the water elemental. Okay. Okay. Um, and they uh, run an attack at it. Uh, unleash your berserker fury on it. Does anybody want to run some berserkers? They attack yeah, got recklessly. Couple. I've got I've got the stats too. I got a crit. All right, so I got attack. two. I got a crit. So 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 don't even roll the damage dice. Just a so, swarm. Yeah, a swarm of berserkers just run towards the water elemental and they all just at the same time like magic missile just all strike um uh the water elemental just disperses completely and my hair is soaking soaked wet there's no flames or anything and i basically watch them destroy the water elemental and i gesture toward the water so okay they- and use their remaining movement. Uh, so they're able to get to the water and jump in. Okay. <laughs> um, they like jump in attacking style, right? And uh, they're jumping into uh, the mouth of this vortex. Um, when they jump in, give me a constitution saving throw for the berserkers, please. It's a plus three. Um, 21 and 18. Mine got nine. Oh, I'll do four of them. What's my modifier? Three. So I got a 21, an 18, an 18, and a five. Okay, anything under 20 fails. Okay. They take uh, 69 points of damage. How many hit points do they have? 67. Uh, Three poof away. Mine poofs away. (laughs) All mine poof. You got one. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I had four. So how many is left? Two. Two. Okay. So so Kinian, you see uh you see your ancestors uh just Get blendered. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um there's two like stuck in this vortex and they're still like crying out in their uh in their ancestral battle rage. Um uh it is now Minette's turn. <laughs> that didn't work so well. <laughs> It gave you guys knowledge of what going into that pool does. I think I'm going to turn invisible. Okay. And I probably can't use my cunning action to cast mend, but I think really hard about doing it. All right. Uh, another bolt of lightning strikes out from the uh, from the whirlpool. Now, is this a spell? No. Uh, it strikes Kinian. Uh, give me a dex saving throw. 13 probably fails. Uh, 13 does fail. 38 plus 5. I choose not to die. I'm actually going to use Relentless Rage and save my Relentless Endurance. Okay. What does that do? There's a DC 10 con save to stay at one hit point. Oh. And it goes up. The DC goes up 5 every time I do it. So next time I try to do it, it's going to be a 15. Sarissa says... uh, we need to somehow try and draw her out. She took the piece of six from me. Maybe she wants the other two. Do you have the other two? Upstairs. You left them unattended? I hit in them. Your, in your throne room? Yes. Detailed description. Go! Uh, what do you mean? He's Tell fast. Tell me where it is. I'm very fast. Oh. Uh, uh, she, she hands you a very tiny uh, box, uh, like a little chest. Um, which is, <laughs> it's, it's like palm size for you. And she says, it's behind my throne. You saw me pull it out last time. Uh, yep. I remember that. Go quickly. Um, so, uh, if you guys stay in this room, we stay in initiative. Oh, well, it is Kyo's turn. Kyo's turn. Um, are you running? I am walking very quickly in a run like manner. Okay. Uh, uh, Bon, you you flash up the stairs. I'm double, at four hit Double points, move, so. 120 yeah. feet per round. Yep. All right. Uh, Sarissa, Sarissa picks uh, Tin uh, and uh, uh, Kinian up. Um, she doesn't know where Minette is, and she bounces out of the room. She runs. And I'm, like, looking up at her, like, 
Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I li- I- Scorched marks from the, the lightning. Yeah. You running? Or are you sticking behind and trying science thing? I'll leave. I'm staying invisible, though. Okay. I cast Cure Wounds on Kinian with my prayer beads. The vortex is going to release lightning. Um, as as time goes on, it 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 releases this lightning as a discharge. Maybe maybe you can time it somehow and and try and stop the whirlpool enough to maybe swim down there safely. I I still don't I don't recommend fighting her in her lair. But if we can draw her out somehow, maybe we can take her that way. She's got to be weak by now. You get twenty three hit points, Kenyon. Ooh. Damn! That's like one hit. So, uh, now, now that people are out of the room, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and that you're out of the room, just invisible. Uh, Bond goes up to the up to the uh, room. Uh, you present the box, and when you open the box, like Sarissa did, another box comes out uh, out of a dimension in the the chair, um, and it is open as well. And you see inside it. There is a wooden bowl and a shard of amber. Ooh, I take them both. Okay. And uh, and you shut the box, and it disappears into uh, the dimension. Um, running back, you hand... Uh, do you hand them over to Sarissa, or do you just give her the box back, or you keep everything? Uh, I'm going to disperse it a little bit. I give the box to Sarissa. Okay. I give the shard to Kinian, and I'll use the bowl... To draw her to us out of the maelstrom. Vortex. Out of the vortex. vortex. Okay. Okay. I start drinking potions. And I also heal Kenyon for 14 hit points. Okay. Let's see. 10. I am going to drink my supreme healing potion. Okay. Is everybody taking a quick second to, Six to patch up then? Patch up. Yeah. Okay. Um, and over over these... Uh, these few seconds or so these this minute um of of breathing time uh you see you see like shots of lightning just uh in the in the room uh uh discharging uh sarissa says so what kind of trap are we laying for her uh why don't you all just prepare something i'll go in there and say if you want this piece of six and hold up the bowl come and get it and providing something happens I'll book it to this room okay uh do you all have any illusion spells maybe maybe we can trick her instead of putting a a actual piece of six at risk no offense bond but you're small and she's large uh, it'd take yeah. me ten minutes, though. I'm pretty fast, and I uh, we don't have I get out of the way of things. I also reach into my bag and pull out a hat and put it on, and then two bowls are in my hands. Okay. Say so I could do this too. And it's a, it's the hat of disguise. Yeah. Uh, Manette. Here's a bowl. Don't lose it. Manette's invisible. <laughs> you just you put your hand out and you're like, Manette, take it the bowl. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is it the real bowl? The re- yeah, it's the real bowl, and you have the real shard. I take it and put it in my portable hole. Okay. I know you're trying to split them up, but Kenny and at this point is like, no. You what take the shard? What? The shard of the, the bowl. The bowl. Uh, Both of them. Go ahead and try. Dex save. Yeah, contested Dex at that point. Against Bond, not against yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do we add to the roll? It's it's a a acrobatics slash your... I'd be a sleight of hand. Yeah, sleight of hand. Oof. I didn't roll Four. great. 18. Four. Yeah. Like, mine. Yep. And you're just like, nope. Also, I slap Kenny in. <laughs> All right. So, uh... I've been she... through this before, man. <laughs> Trying to take my shit. She says, enough with your bickering. This needs to be dealt with. Orca Team 6 is... It's its on the loose at this point. Corey needs to be dealt with. Okay. 
So we're, we're good. Everybody's gonna lay in wait, and I'm gonna go and try and get her. Let's do this. Uh, little one, can you can you cast invisibility on, on maybe me and somebody else? Maybe uh, we can hide and lay in wait. Do you want to be enlarged? If I ever had a chance with Sarissa, now's the time. <laughs> Let's engorge this barbarian. I mean, enlarge this barbarian. God. You, you are enlarged. All right. I'm large. Nice. What say you, Kyo? I guess I could do two. What? Okay. So, uh, so you do Sarissa and who else? You could, you could invisible Kenyon. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know about this. As soon as I was enlarged by Manette, I walked out of the room and said, I'll be right back. And moments later, uh, I return carrying a red thunder cannon. <laughs> yeah. One or two. I'm all right with this. Yes. Can I carry two of them? You can carry two. You can't use two. I'm carrying two, and I'm setting them at the the top of the stairs, kind of pointed uh, at the whirlpool. Um. Uh. Sarissa reaches out her hand, and and takes one. Yes. And uh, don't she, cross the as beams. She, yeah, as she grabs it, uh, uh, she goes invisible. And you guys can be thunder cannon buddies. Uh, you hear a yeah. You hear a. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Ripley. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, how do you guys want to do this? Lay it out. I'm going to the other room and taunting her out into a hallway. Everybody else is just you're waiting in the hallway. Yeah. Waiting. I I, I'm oh, waiting in okay. a hidden spot. <laughs> Where she can't I see mean, me easily. Okay. How, how far away do we feel like we need to lure her from her lair? Before uh, Sarissa goes anywhere, she says, we probably want to lead her up into the auditorium. And we are in the jazz room. All right. Uh, so Sarissa takes up point where the uh, where the crab was, and she, she lets you guys know where she's at. Uh, she's got her gun trained on the uh, entrance. Um, I'm at the bar, staying busy while waiting. <laughs> you're drinking. I'm drinking. You've Damn got, you've busy. got like, you've got a gun, and you're just pointing it in all the wrong places because you've never held. It. You don't know what a gun is. Gun safety. And, what's that? Yeah, you actually like look down the barrel to make sure everything's gonna work fine, and <laughs> uh, and you're drinking a bottle of alcohol at the same time. Guns and alcohol. And, what's so? And America. Manette's shaking his head, <laughs> but nobody can see it. I just kind of <laughs> sit at the bar counter and just kind of like indicate to Kenyon, like, give me a drink. Shot. Whatever. We're, we're doing shots. The biggest the biggest shot or the smallest <laughs> shot here is a 16 ounce <laughs> glass. <laughs> <laughs> so so you get a tall of like uh -huh. a really strong whiskey. <laughs> but while I'm doing this, I'm keeping my eye on the entryway because yes. I want to do a thunderball like, or I'm fireball. Thinking, I'm okay. thinking like this is Wild West. That's why I'm behind yeah. the bar and, yep. and because bar. Yeah, bar. Okay. Uh, Keo, where are you hiding? In the chandelier. Nice. After nice. filling up my empty, I had an empty flask. Okay. So I'm filling that with like giant booze. Yeah. Um, Everybody's getting <laughs> fucking smashed. How many types of the, like. <laughs> before the big boss battle. See, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna fly fly in. In. Liquid yeah. courage, yeah. Alan. I didn't say I was getting smashed. Welcome to the party. I'm just having a drink or two or three. Get off my back, DM. Kidian's yeah. probably getting pretty close now, but you enlarging me helped my tolerance. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm a nice DM. I won't make you guys roll con saves. Uh, I'm not drinking. I'm all right, all right. So yeah. we've First. been to Maelstrom before, so we already drank their alcohol before. Right. Are, right. We, are we ready to do this? Yes. Okay. So somebody uh, say bon, a boost type. I fly into the Liquor. room. So Bon, you you glide down the staircase, moving into the room, um, and I say. Dormammu, I am here to bargain. <laughs> <laughs> so you say that, and, yeah. and the whirlpool just... Do you say it again? Uh, <laughs> give me a dexterity saving throw. All right. 23. 
23. You make it. I take no damage. Okay. That makes it easier. <laughs> so it's just... <laughs> and um, uh, the whirlpool starts to slow. And uh, uh, you see lightning leaping from the puddle out across the, the flooded plain. And uh, from the water starts to manifest this uh the storm giant uh it's almost like water elemental-esque uh comes up as clear water and then starts to solidify uh from the hood downward um uh it becomes opaque and uh it starts moving towards you and she says my master demands the pieces of six well it's really simple catch me and you can have this and I take off. She leaps at you, and I need you to... Are you hasted or no? No. Okay. I need you to make a dexterity roll. Use your proficiency, I would say, because you're you're flying. Okay. Uh, it's just straight roll plus dex plus proficiency. He's fine. 27. Okay. Um, uh, you are able to uh, gain... Uh, gain ground between you and uh, Corey uh, n- enough to taunt her um, but uh, also enough to keep out of her her range I, um, uh, I throw back a I thought giants were fast uh, she she uh, whips her hand out creating a lightning sword and throws it at you uh, moving up the stairwell and it misses um, uh, playing off the stairs. Um, uh, she chases you up into this room. Not so a very like, good aim either. Like, I hear this all going down. Yeah. And like, Kinian turns to Tenuvio and she looks up at him and he's got like the drunk squints going on. <laughs> and, and I'm like, he's gonna be all right, right? Because he's fast just make sure to not point the end of that thunder cannon at any of us and, and he's like he's pointing it he's pointing it in Keo's direction and he's like <laughs> oh and Sarissa's like get that gun down range um <laughs> I kind of take my hand and like slide yeah. over the thunder cannon's barrel yeah to aim yeah. the correct way Bon you fly through the the door um and uh, after Bon comes through, you don't see anything. And you don't see anything. And um, uh, uh, and then you see uh, uh, a form appear next to Kinian. And she punches the ground coming out of invisibility. Oh, and uh, a thunder wave is let off from, uh, from, the, uh, from the punch. Uh, towards the ground. Give me a constitution save, Kinian. Uh, also 10, 10 you are within the radius. Only a 15. Only a 15 fails. Now, is she behind them, like, in I relation to too. the... She is in front, so she's more towards the middle of the room, if that makes sense. You fail as well? Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, you both take 17 points of thunder oh. damage in... Uh, you are pushed backwards. Um, uh, ten, ten, you fall. Uh, uh, twelve points of bludgeoning damage. You land prone. Seventeen and twelve. Yes, and then Kinian, uh, you are just pushed back into the bar. All right, so everybody uh, take their turn. Uh, their held action starting with Kinian. Was I knocked back from? You're just pushed back. You can move to hit her. It's 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 fine. Well, I had the gun out. Is is what Are I'm you gonna asking. Clubber with it? <laughs> That's probably more what Kinian would do. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could club her, or you could try to shoot her point blank. Let's see what this shoot thing does. Her. Okay. Shoot shoot her point her. Blank. All right. So how this shoot her. so how this works is uh, uh, you you pull you go to pull the trigger. Roll me a d4, and uh, 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 odd is you miss, even as you fire. I fire. Okay. Uh, give me uh, a disadvantage because she's uh, too close. She's going to die. Okay. So uh, so it does miss, uh, but it fires uh, wildly splashing across the, the wall. Um, uh, for future reference, you have 
Uh, what's your dex mod? Plus two. Plus two? You have a plus um, six. It's just the plus two plus the plus four from the weapon. Okay. All right. So it is now. Um, Manette, go ahead and do your held action. 20 to hit. Uh, 20 hits, yeah. Sneak attack. Yes. Oh, nice. 42 points of damage. I rolled 1-1, one, one, and the rest were 4 or above. Holy shit. Nice. Uh, after your... Uh, uh, oh, wait, no. This is a, a surprise round, essentially. Um, it is 10. You can do your uh, your held action. Okay. Uh, um, you can you can see her. Um, uh, she does have quarter uh, three quarters cover just because of where you're at, but um, you can see her. Uh, I get up, and then since I can't change my held action, I will cast fireball. Okay. You can aim it so that gonna it's gonna only going to hit her. I'm going to aim it so that it hits her only. Yep. Dexterity saving throw, and she gets a. Uh, 14. She fails. And I'm doing this at level 7. 40 fire damage. Add 3 to that. Because I can change any 1 into a 2 on fire. Nice. What? I forgot about that. That's a pretty cool feature. All right, then. Mm-hmm. So immediately following that fireball oh, is the other fireball. <laughs> <laughs> but this one's at 3rd level. And yes. Uh, did she make a 17 no. DC? No. Okay. Then um, she takes 34 more fire. All right, everybody, uh, uh, we're going to re-roll initiative at this point. Oh, wait, Sarissa. Sarissa needs to take her shot. See if this cannon actually does any damage. (laughs) All right, uh, so you just hear a click, and that's it. Um, Was that greater invisibility? Okay. Um, That's the uh, only sort of invisibility I do. (laughs) Manette, what'd you get? Uh, for initiative? Yeah. Six. Six. All right. Uh, Corey got a uh, seven. Uh, Keo. I had a 14. 14. Uh, bon. 19. 19. Uh, Sarissa got a uh, 19 as well. Um, she is going to go after Bon. Okie dokie. Uh, 10. 11. Kinnian. 17. 17. Nice work done. All right. All right, Bon. It's your turn. Okay, I mime putting the bowl in my pocket, but it literally it just yeah. disappears. Yeah. <laughs> it's just more for show at that point. And I say, My turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go up to her and whack her twice, in theory. Uh, 13. Hits. Suck it! <laughs> and a 28. <laughs> uh, you want to make a con save? Yep. No, 28. Go ahead and make another con save. <laughs> can do it on every strike. Yep. 15? She's stunned. stunned. Shit, son. She's going to die. God dang. Hang on, I got to fudge my key. Right that now. probably hoses all of her legendaries, too, because yep. she's stunned. Yeah, because, yep. Uh, all right, so now to resolve the uh, damage portion of this. She couldn't catch a fucking 14, break tonight. 18, 20, 23, 26, 33 on the first, 19 on the second. Excellent. Uh, it is now uh, Sarissa's turn. Uh, she tries one more time and just click, click. And she says, piece of shit. And you see it like fly across the room. And then boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kenny, in your turn. A gun just appears um, flying. <laughs> Ken- a, a giant gun. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny's like still kind of like wink, winking, like from drinking. Okay. And, uh, I look at this gun that I just missed with, mm-hmm. and does it somehow look like it's a giant maul oh, yeah. to me? Yeah, I mean, it's easily like, oh, this clearly doesn't get 
pull the trigger, you gotta grab it by the end of the barrel and hit with the stock. No Duh. wonder you missed. Yeah. So I start like, Kenny actually starts nodding like I am right now, yeah. just like up and down, up and down, like a smile, and recklessly swing the <laughs> thunder cannon <laughs> at Corey. Okay. Um. Am I proficient with Thunder It would be cannon? a mall. Yeah. As a mall? Yeah. Well, that's going to be a hit. Okay. A seven on the die plus a ridiculous bunch of other stuff is going to make it work. You've got uh, you've got advantage because she's stunned, so... Yep. So that's <laughs> two hits. So what's the damage die when you uh, use this as a... A mall is a 2d6 bludgeoning. But a giant mall... Whatever <laughs> giant does... I don't know. I didn't. I'm, you, I'm, you I'm not technically large. giant size. Yeah, it's it's in a large. So I think, yeah. Yeah. A giant weapon is generally three times the damage of a regular one, but oh. I'm not giant size. Yeah. Wield a giant weapon. Uh, we're gonna say we got <laughs> 32 points of damage on the first swing, and 27. All right. Um, uh, she's, she's been looking rough, so she looks rough. Real Side rough. note, I, I did not raid. Okay. This engagement. Okay. Uh, it is now Keo's turn. Is there a way to place a fireball that doesn't hit my allies? Yeah. Okay. I le- use the last of my sorcery points to quicken a fireball, and that fireball, if she fails the DC 17... Dex. Uh, yeah, she fails. All right, that one does. Well, she auto fails. She's stunned. Yeah. It takes thirty-six fire damage, and I fire follow it up with a fire bolt for um for nineteen fire damage. Okay, describe your kill. Pew pew. <laughs> pew pew. Well, kaboom pew. <laughs> and as she's engulfed in flames, she never sees the one that gets her. You, you, she, she's engulfed in flames, and you see just one, one piercing uh, bolt of flame. And Makes like a smoke ring. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a, a smoke ring right where the, right in the center of the chest. Center of mass. Yes, and uh, uh, she slumps, and she lets out this like gurgle gasp as the pink, uh, brackish blood, uh, flows from her mouth. And I yell, "Fire beats water." I try to catch her. Okay. Because I yep. fear that she's going to damage my alcohol. <laughs> you catch her, and you slowly let her down. <laughs> like, and... like It looks like he's being gallant, and then as soon as she's, like, below a table, he just lets go. <laughs> uh, uh, you slowly let her down, and as, uh, as you're uh, letting her down, you see her eyes stop glowing, and they become clear. And... Uh, and she says, "Beware of the abolists. And uh, she she dies at your feet. And that's how we are going to end tonight. Hey, thank you so much for listening. Uh, what a fantastic episode! We cannot wait for next week's episode. Uh, we hope you stick around to find out what happens next." If you want to find out more about the show, about our characters, or things like that, go check us out on dmstable.com backslash rwa. DMs Table has got information on how to contact us through Twitter or Facebook or things like that. Um, Go check it out, and we'll see you out on the internet. See ya.